Hello everyone, today's video is on quite a niche area that often um, people will not come across ever, um, but for those who are in this particular sector, it is an invaluable tax break, and it's specifically for the video game uh, market, so companies that develop video games. Uh, what prompted me to make a video on this is just reading about the ever-increasing popularity of video games um, and the fact that they are now such huge sporting events, esports. People um, will flock stadium, well, when they can, when we're not in a pandemic, but flock stadium to watch other people play video games. It's quite incredible, the so-called esports boom, and they reckon it's worth billions of, of pounds a year. Uh, the whole uh, esports and video gaming. So I thought, well, I'll just do a quick uh, overview on some tax breaks. Um, unfortunately, these tax breaks are not for the people who play video games, which are millions of people. These are for the people who make the video games, develop the video games. So, video games tax relief. It's a UK tax break uh, specifically for companies to reduce corporation tax. So let's have a look at the detail. So, um, if your company is video game developing company, you can claim the relief if um, your video game is certified as British by the British Film Institute, the BFI, um, and it's intended for supply to the general public. So it's very much the sort of the main thrust of this tax relief is to encourage businesses in the UK um, to, to do this sort of activity rather than uh, be overseas. Because a lot of tech companies, whether it be um, e-commerce or uh, video games or other types of creative sectors, tends to be overseas, particularly in the USA, maybe the Far East. So this tax break is to encourage businesses to set up uh, and do these activities within the UK, hence the reason for having such generous tax breaks, which I will come on to. So other criteria, at least 25% of the core expenditure is on goods and services provided from within the European economic area. So it talks a lot about the, the EEA as it is, which is um, the slight EU plus um, other countries in, in addition to Europe. And of course, all this legislation was written while we were still in Europe. Um, now we're out. It may get changed to just be totally within the UK. But for now, it relates to both expenditures and personnel within the UK and Europe. So it talks about core expenditure. So what is core expenditure? Core expenditure is um, items that the company spends on the likes of designing, producing, and testing the video game. So that is what's known as core expenditure. Now, the company must also be actively engaged in planning and decision-making and directly negotiate contracts and pay for rights, goods, and services. So <clears throat> there is this, also this thing, this, this whole concept of Britishness um, is going through the, the heart of this tax relief. And to qualify, you have to pass what is known as a cultural test. So let's have a look at um, the rules for the so-called cultural test. Um, and, and when you pass this cultural test, you'll be certified as British. Um, and the BFI, the British Film Institute, manages the certification and qualification on behalf of the Department of uh, Digital Culture, Media and Sport. And you basically get a certificate um, to say that you comply, that it's a British product and you can get all this, this tax relief. So let's have a look at these cultural tests. So basically, it's a points-based test where you have to get so many points to pass. And there are four different tests. The first one is cultural content. So this basically measures um, the content of your video, how British and European it is in the ledge. But like I said, we're out of Europe now, so maybe they'll amend it. But how British is your video? Um, is, it, is it set in, a, um, in the UK? Uh, you know, like some of these, these video games are set on the streets of LA or New York. Is it set in the British suburbs of Birmingham or Manchester? Um, seriously, you get points for the setting of your video game 
um, for where it's set, okay? And the next one in the cultural test is the cultural contribution. And this measures the cultural impact, British cultural impact on the video game. The third test in the cultural test is cultural hubs. So this section measure, measures the use of the UK's video game development facilities. So points are awarded for the UK, uh, for use of UK facilities for conceptual development, storyboarding, programming, design, music, recording, and audio production. And then the fourth strand of the cultural test is personnel. So basically using uh, uh, UK or EEA citizens to be involved in this. So very much all about <clears throat> giving the tax breaks for the Britishness around the, the video gaming, uh, the content creation and everything else. So you cannot claim video game tax relief if your company, uh, if you basically produce the game for advertising or promotional purposes uh, or for the purposes of gambling. So it's got to be on a commercial basis, uh, licensing, selling, selling the software for the general public to use your video game. And what it does when you make the claim, you, um, you reduce your taxable profits. So you just pay less corporation tax. And the reduction is 80% of the total core expenditure. So let's assume you've already spent 100 grand on that kind of stuff anyway. Remember, core expenditure, just going back to the definition, is what you spend on designing, producing, and testing the game. So let's say you've already spent 100 grand. Now, that will be a deduction in your profit and loss account. You'll get corporation tax relief, 19%. So you're already getting 19 grand tax relief on 100 grand spend. This is saying, look, assume you'd spent 180,000, not 100,000, 80% enhanced deduction. So that gives you about another 15 grand off your corporation tax bill. So you've already got 19 grand off already. And then this claiming this relief on the expenditure you've already spent gives you another 15 grand off your tax bill. So it's pretty good. Um, now, what if this enhanced uh, deduction creates a loss? If it creates a loss, then normally on losses, you can carry them backwards, carry them forwards. Or in this case, you can surrender the loss for cash. HMRC will give you a payable uh, tax credit at the rate of 25% of whatever that loss is. Now, that's very generous. 25%, that's higher than the effective corporation tax rate. So why would you want to um, carry it forward to set off against next year's when you can surrender that loss for 25%? So that is a really uh, good break if that deduction trips you into a loss-making position or enhances a loss-making position. You can surrender it for, for cash from HMRC. So <clears throat> um, you make the claim through the company tax return and You'll also need to give evidence that you've passed this so-called cultural test that the video is British. Um, and that's that's what you need. And you'll get all this um, fantastic tax relief. So just an overview there on, uh, on video gaming tax relief. Like I said, very niche. Unfortunately, not for all of us who play video games, but for the people who design them, uh, this will really... Uh, impact them in a positive way. Um, it's a really decent tax break. And there are more and more people getting into this, people designing apps, people designing all sorts of fintech, but specifically video games. This is aimed at those developing video games, but it's not as niche, say, as it was even 10 years ago. More and more people are getting into this. So if uh, if you are a, a video game developer, and I hope you, you find this video, then do Think about this and uh, have a look and, and, and make a claim because it is worth a lot of money. So that is just an overview on the video games tax relief. Part of the UK's um, what we call the creative sector tax relief. So it's a, there's a family of tax reliefs, if you will, within the UK called the creative sector tax relief. This is just a subset of that video games. There's others for high-end TV productions, all sorts of things, making movies, making TV, you get tax breaks. I'll do other videos on those, but this one specifically for video gaming. If you like this video, <laughs> speaking of videos, please do uh, hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon.